The Tamil people, Tamil, Tamil or Tamizar, singular, T M or Tamil, Tamilarkal Tamizakal, plural. TMX, also known as Tamilar, Tamilians, or simply Tamils, are a Dravidian ethnic group who speak Tamil as their mother tongue and trace their ancestry to the Indian state of Tamil Nadu, the Indian Union territory of Puducherry, or the northern, eastern province and Puttalam district of Sri Lanka. Tamil people with a population of approximately 76 million, predominantly in India, living around the world are one of the largest and the oldest of the existing ethno-linguistic cultural groups of people in the modern world. Tamils comprise 5.9% of the population in India, 24.9% in Sri Lanka, 6% in Mauritius, approximately 7% in Malaysia and 5% in Singapore. From the 3rd century BCE onwards, urbanization and mercantile activity along the western and eastern coasts of what is today Kerala and Tamil Nadu led to the development of four large Tamil political states, Shara dynasty, Chola dynasty, Pandyan dynasty and Pallava dynasty and a number of smaller states warring amongst themselves for dominance. The Jaffna Kingdom, once one of the strongest kingdoms of Sri Lanka, led to the development of a distinct political state of the Sri Lankan Tamils. Between the 4th century BCE and the 3rd century CE, Tamil people produced native literature that came to be called Sangam literature. Among languages spoken today, the Tamil language is one of the oldest written languages. Tamils were noted for their martial, religious, and mercantile activities beyond their native borders. Pandyas and Cholas were historically active in Sri Lanka. The Chola dynasty successfully invaded parts of Southeast Asia like Malaysia, Southern Thailand and Indonesia. Medieval Tamil guilds and trading organizations like the Ayavol and Manigramam played an important role in the Southeast Asia trade. Pallava traders and religious leaders traveled to Southeast Asia and played an important role in the cultural Indianization of the region. Locally developed scripts such as Grantha and Pallava script induced the development of many native scripts such as Khmer, Javanese Kawi script, Baibayan and Thai. Tamil visual art is dominated by stylized temple architecture in major centers and the productions of images of deities in stone and bronze. Chola bronzes, especially the Nataraja sculpture of the Chola period, have become notable as a symbol of Savam. Tamil performing arts are divided into popular and classical. Classical form is Bharatanatyam, whereas the popular forms are known as Kuthu and performed in village temples and on street corners. Tamil cinema, known as Kaliwood, is a very important part of the Indian cinema industry. It is the second largest film industry in India, next only to Bollywood. Music too is divided into classical Carnatic form and many popular genres. Although most Tamils are Hindus, many especially those in the rural areas practice what is considered to be folk Hinduism, venerating a plethora of village deities. A sizable number are Muslims and Christians. A small Jain community survives from the classical period as well. Tamil cuisine is informed by varied vegetarian and non-vegetarian items usually spiced with locally available spices. The music, the temple architecture and the stylized sculptures favored by the Tamil people as in their ancient nation are still being learnt and practiced. English historian and broadcaster Michael Wood called the Tamils the last surviving classical civilization on earth, because the Tamil mainstream preserved substantial elements of their past regarding belief, culture, music and literature despite the modern globalized world. Topic etymology topic It is unknown as to whether the term Thamizar and its equivalents in Prakrit such as Damela, Damita, Damila and Damila was a self-designation or a term denoted by outsiders. Epigraphic evidence of an ethnic group termed as such is found in ancient Sri Lanka where a number of inscriptions have come to light datable from the 6th to the 5th century BCE mentioning Damela or Damita persons. The well-known Hathagumpha inscription of the Kalinga ruler Kuruvela refers to A.T. Mira Samgata Confederacy of Tamil rulers dated to 150 BCE. It also mentions that the League of Tamil Kingdoms had been in existence 113 years before then. In Amaravati in present-day Andhra Pradesh there is an inscription referring to a Damila Vaniya Tamil trader datable to the 3rd century CE. Another inscription of about the same time in Nagarjunakanda seems to refer to a Damila. A third inscription in Kanheri Caves refers to a Damila Garini Tamil householder. In the Buddhist Jataka story known as Akiti Jataka there is a mention to Damila Ratha Tamil dynasty. There were trade relationship between the Roman Empire and Pandyan Empire. As recorded by Strabo, Emperor Augustus of Rome received at Antioch an ambassador from a king called Pandyan of Dramira. 
Hence, it is clear that by at least 300 BCE, the ethnic identity of Tamils was formed as a distinct group. Thamizhar is etymologically related to Tamil, the language spoken by Tamil people. Southworth suggests that the name comes from Tam is greater than Tam is self -speak, or one's own speech. Zavelabil suggests an etymology of Tam is, with Tam meaning self or one's self, and is having the connotation of unfolding sound. Alternatively, he suggests a derivation of Tam is the proper process of speaking. Topic history topic topic In India topic topic Pre-historic period topic Possible evidence indicating the earliest presence of Tamil people in modern-day Tamil Nadu are the megalithic urn burials, dating from around 1500 BCE and onwards, which have been discovered at various locations in Tamil Nadu, notably in Attakanalore in Tirunelveli district which conform to the descriptions of funerals in classical Tamil literature, various legends became prevalent after the 10th century CE regarding the antiquity of the Tamil people. According to Arayanar Agaparal, a 10th, 11th century annotation on the Sangam literature, the Tamil country extended southwards beyond the natural boundaries of the Indian peninsula comprising 49 ancient Nadus divisions. The land was supposed to have been destroyed by a deluge. The Sangam legends also adproded to the antiquity of the Tamil people by claiming tens of thousands of years of continuous literary activity during three Sangams. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Classical period. Topic: Ancient Tamils had three monarchical states headed by kings called Vendar and several tribal chieftainships headed by the chiefs called by the general denomination Vel or Velir. Still lower at the local level there were clan chiefs called Kizar or Manar. The Tamil kings and chiefs were always in conflict with each other mostly over territorial hegemony and property. The royal courts were mostly places of social gathering rather than places of dispensation of authority, they were centers for distribution of resources. Ancient Tamil Sangam literature and grammatical works, Tolkapiyam, the Ten Anthologies, Patupattu, and the Eight Anthologies, Edutakai also shed light on ancient Tamil people. The kings and chieftains were patrons of the arts, and a significant volume of literature exists from this period. The literature shows that many of the cultural practices that are considered peculiarly Tamil date back to the classical period. Agriculture was important during this period, and there is evidence that networks of irrigation channels were built as early as the 3rd century BCE. Internal and external trade flourished, and evidence of significant contact with ancient Rome exists. Large quantities of Roman coins and signs of the presence of Roman traders have been discovered at Karur and Arakamadu. There is evidence that at least two embassies were sent to the Roman Emperor Augustus by Pandya kings. Potsherds with Tamil writing have also been found in excavations on the Red Sea, suggesting the presence of Tamil merchants there. An anonymous 1st century traveller's account written in Greek, Periplus Maris Erythrae, describes the ports of the Pandya and Shara kingdoms in Damarika and their commercial activity in great detail. Peri Plus also indicates that the chief exports of the ancient Tamils were pepper, malabathrum, pearls, ivory, silk, spikenard, diamonds, sapphires, and tortoiseshell. The classical period ended around the 4th century CE with invasions by the Calabra, referred to as the Calapurer in Tamil literature and inscriptions. These invaders are described as evil kings and barbarians coming from lands to the north of the Tamil country. This period, commonly referred to as the Dark Age of the Tamil country, ended with the rise of the Pallava dynasty. According to Clarence Maloney, during the classical period Tamils also settled the Maldive Islands. <laughs> economy, trade and maritime The Tamil country is strategically located in the Indian Ocean and had access to a sea trade route. Topic. Imperial and post-imperial periods Topic. The names of the three dynasties, Cholas, Pandyas, and Cheras, are mentioned in Tamil Sangam literature and grammatical works like Tolkapayar refers to them as the three glorified by heaven. Tamil, Vanpukal Muvar, Vanpukal Muvar? Later, they are mentioned in the Mauryan Empire's Pillars of Ashoka inscribed 273-232 BCE inscriptions, among the kingdoms, which though not subject to Ashoka, were on friendly and allied terms with him. 
The king of Kalinga, Kuruvela, who ruled around 150 BCE, is mentioned in the famous Hathagumpha inscription of the confederacy of the Tamil kingdoms that had existed for over 100 years. The Cholas, Pandyas, Cheras, and Pallavas were followers of Hinduism, though for a short while some of them seem to have embraced Jainism and later converted to Hinduism. After the fall of the Mauryan Empire, the Tamil kingdoms were allied with the Satavahana dynasty. These early kingdoms sponsored the growth of some of the oldest extant literature in Tamil. The classical Tamil literature, referred to as Sangam literature is attributed to the period between 200 BCE and 300 CE. The poems of Sangam literature, which deal with emotional and material topics, were categorized and collected into various anthologies during the medieval period. These Sangam poems paint the picture of a fertile land and of a people who were organized into various occupational groups. The governance of the land was through hereditary monarchies, although the sphere of the state's activities and the extent of the ruler's powers were limited through the adherence to the established order Dharma. Although the Pallava records can be traced from the 2nd century CE, they did not rise to prominence as an imperial dynasty until the 6th century. They transformed the institution of the kingship into an imperial one, and sought to bring vast amounts of territory under their direct rule. The Bhakti movement in Hinduism was founded at this time, and rose along with the growing influence of Jainism and Buddhism. The Pallavas pioneered the building of large, ornate temples in stone which formed the basis of the Dravidian temple architecture. They came into conflict with the Kannada Chalukyas of Badami. During this period, the great Badami Chalukya king Pulakishan II extended the Chalukya Empire up to the northern extents of the Pallava kingdom and defeated the Pallavas in several battles. Pallava Narasimhavarman however reversed this victory in 642 by attacking and occupying Badami temporarily. However a later Chalukya king Vikramaditya II took revenge by repeated invasions of the territory of Tandamandalam and his subsequent victories over Pallava Nandivarman II and the annexation of Kanchipuram. The Pallava dynasty was overthrown in the 9th century by the imperial Kannada Rashtrakutas who ruled from Gulbarga. King Krishna III, the last great Rashtrakuta king consolidated the empire so that it stretched from the Narmada River to the Kaveri River and included the northern Tamil country while levying tribute on the king of Ceylon. Under Rajaraja Chola and his son Rajendra Chola, the Cholas became dominant in the 10th century and established an empire covering most of South India and Sri Lanka. The empire had strong trading links with the Chinese Song dynasty and Southeast Asia. The Cholas defeated the eastern Chalukya and expanded their empire to the Ganges. They conquered the coastal areas around the Bay of Bengal and turned it into a Chola lake. Rajendra Chola improved his father's fleet and created the first notable marine of the Indian subcontinent. The Chola navy conquered the Sri Vijaya Empire of Indonesia and Malaysia and secured the sea trade route to China. Cholas exacted tribute from Thailand and the Khmer Kingdom of Cambodia. The power of the Cholas declined around the 13th century and the Pandyan Empire enjoyed a brief period of resurgence thereafter during the rule of Sundara Pandya. The Pandyan dynasty reached its peak in the 13th century during the reign of Sadeavarman Sundara Pandyan I and Maravarman Kulazakara Pandyan I. The Pandyan Empire was threatened by the constant Islamic invasions of South India. In the early 14th century, Madurai, the capital of Pandyans was conquered by Jalaluddin Asan Khan and an independent Madurai Sultanate was established. The short-lived Madurai Sultanate was captured in 1378 by the Vijayanagara Empire. During the 15th and 16th century the Vijayanagara Empire became the dominant power of South India. After the decline of the Vijayanagara Empire in 1646, Tamil Nadu was dominated by small states like the Madurai Nayaks. The Western Tamil lands became increasingly politically distinct from the rest of the Tamil lands after the Chola and Pandya empires lost control over them in the 13th century. They developed their own distinct language and literature, which increasingly grew apart from Tamil, evolving into the modern Malayalam language by the 15th century. In Sri Lanka there is little scholarly consensus over the presence of Tamil people in Sri Lanka prior to the medieval Chola period c. 10th century CE. One theory states that there was no organized Tamil presence in Sri Lanka until the invasions from what is now South India in the 10th century CE. Another theory contends that Tamil people were the original inhabitants of the island. 
According to another theory, cultural diffusion, rather than migration of people, spread the Tamil language from peninsular India into an existing Mesolithic population centuries before the Christian era. Tamil tradition in Sri Lanka portrays the Tamils as lineal descendants of the Aboriginal Naga and Yaksha people of Sri Lanka. The Nakar used the cobra totem known as Nakam in the Tamil language, which is still part of the Hindu Tamil tradition in Sri Lanka today as a subordinate deity. Prehistoric period The indigenous Vedas of Sri Lanka are ethnically related to tribal people of South India. Settlements of people culturally similar to those of present-day Sri Lanka and Tamil Nadu in modern India were excavated at megalithic burial sites at Pomparapu on the west coast and in Katharaveli on the east coast of the island, with villages established between the 5th century BCE and 2nd century CE. Cultural similarities in burial practices in South India and Sri Lanka were dated by archaeologists to the 10th century BCE. However, Indian history and archaeology have pushed the date back to the 15th century BCE, and in Sri Lanka, there is radiometric evidence from Anuradhapura that the non-Brahmi symbol bearing black and red ware occurs at least around the 9th or 10th century BCE. Topic. Historic period. Topic. South Indian type black and red ware potsherds found in Sri Lanka and dated 1st to 2nd century E displayed at the National Museum of Colombo, Sri Lanka. Potsherds with early Tamil writing from the 2nd century BCE have been found in excavations in north of the Sri Lanka in Punagari, bearing several inscriptions including a clan name, Vila, a name related to Velir from ancient Tamil country. Tamil Brahmi inscribed potsherds have also been excavated in the south of the island in Tissamaharama. There is epigraphic evidence of people identifying themselves as Damelas or Damedas the Prakrit word for Tamil people in Anuradhapura, the capital city of Rajarada, and other areas of Sri Lanka as early as the 2nd century BCE. Historical records establish that Tamil kingdoms in modern India were closely involved in the island's affairs from about the 2nd century BCE. In Mahavamsa, a historical poem, ethnic Tamil adventurers such as Alara invaded the island around 145 BCE. Tamil soldiers from what is now South India were brought to Anuradhapura between the 7th and 11th centuries CE in such large numbers that local chiefs and kings trying to establish legitimacy came to rely on them. By the 8th century CE there were Tamil villages collectively known as Demil Kabala Tamil allotment, Demilat Valademan Tamil villages, and Demil Gambim Tamil villages and lands. Topic. Medieval period Topic. In the 9th and 10th centuries CE, Pandya and Chola incursions into Sri Lanka culminated in the Chola annexation of the island, which lasted until the latter half of the 11th century CE. During the rule of the great Chalukya king Vikramaditya VI, in the late 11th to early 12th centuries, the western Chalukyas convincingly defeated the Cholas on several occasions, weakening their empire. The eventual decline of Chola power in South India in the 12th century was also due to the rise of Hoysala power in the region. The Hoysalas extended their foothold in Tamil Nadu around 1225, making the city of Kananur Kuppam near Sarangam a provincial capital that gave them control over South Indian politics and began a period of Hoysala hegemony in the southern Deccan. Hoysala Veera Narasimha II S son Veera Sumashwara earned the honorific uncle Mamadi from the Pandyas and Cholas. The Hoysala influence spread over the Pandya kingdom from whom they gained tribute. The Chola decline in Sri Lanka was followed by the restoration of the Palanarua monarchy in the late 11th century CE. In 1215, following Pandya invasions, the Tamil dominant Arya Chakravarthi dynasty established an independent Jaffna kingdom on the Jaffna peninsula and in parts of northern Sri Lanka. The Arya Chakravarthi expansion into the south was halted by Alagakanara, a man descended from a family of merchants from Kanchipuram in Tamil Nadu. He was the chief minister of the Sinhalese king Parakramabahu V 1344 Veera Alakashwara, a descendant of Alagakanara, later became king of the Sinhalese, but the Ming admiral Cheng Ho overthrew him in 1409. 
The Arya Chakravarthi dynasty ruled over large parts of northeast Sri Lanka until the Portuguese conquest of the Jaffna Kingdom in 1619. The coastal areas of the island were taken over by the Dutch and then became part of the British Empire in 1796. The English sailor Robert Knox described walking into the island. S. Tamil country in the publication and historical relation of the island Ceylon, annotating some kingdoms within it on a map in 1681. Upon the arrival of European powers from the 17th century, the Tamil's separate nation was described in their areas of habitation in the northeast of the island. The caste structure of the majority Sinhalese has also accommodated Hindu immigrants from South India since the 13th century CE. This led to the emergence of three new Sinhalese caste groups, the Salagama, the Durava and the Kaurava. The Hindu migration and assimilation continued until the 18th century. <laughs> Modern period Topic. British colonists consolidated the Tamil territory in southern India into the Madras Presidency, which was integrated into British India. Similarly, the Tamil-speaking parts of Sri Lanka joined with the other regions of the island in 1802 to form the Ceylon colony. They remained in political union with India and Sri Lanka after their independence, in 1947 and 1948 respectively. As of 2018 the Tamils make up 25% of the population of Sri Lanka. An independent Tamil state Tamil Elam is a proposed independent state that Tamils in Sri Lanka and the Sri Lankan Tamil diaspora aspire to establish in the north and east of Sri Lanka. Irrespective of the ethnic differences, the British imposed a unitary state structure in British Ceylon for better administration. During the British colonial rule, many Tamils held higher positions than the Sinhalese in the government, because they were favoured by the British for their qualification in English education. In the Sri Lankan highlands the lands of the Sinhalese were seized by the British and Indian Tamils were settled there as plantation workers. After the British colonial rule in Sri Lanka ended, ethnic tension between the Sinhalese and the Sri Lankan Tamils rose. The Sinhalese, constituting a majority of the country, misliked the minority Tamils having huge power in the island. In 1948 about 700,000 Indian Tamils from Sri Lanka were made stateless and deported to India. In 1956 the Prime Minister of Sri Lanka passed the Sinhala Only Act, an act where Sinhalese replaced English as the only official language of Sri Lanka. Due to this, many Tamils were forced to resign as civil servants, public servants because they were not fluent in Sinhalese. The Sri Lankan Tamils saw this act as linguistic, cultural and economic discrimination against them. After anti-Tamil pogroms in 1956, 1958 and 1977 and police brutality against the Tamils protesting against these acts, guerrilla groups like the Liberation Tigers of Tamil Elam were established. They aimed to set up an independent Tamil state, Tamil Elam. The burning of Jaffna Library in 1981 and Black July in 1983 finally led to over 25 years of war between the Sri Lankan army and the Tamil Tigers. This Sri Lankan civil war led to death of over 100,000 people, according to the United Nations. The Sri Lankan government allegedly committed war crimes against the civilian Sri Lankan Tamil people during the final months of the Elam War 4 phase in 2009. Geographic distribution India. Most Tamils in India live in the state of Tamil Nadu. Tamils are the majority in the Union territory of Puducherry, a former French colony. Puducherry is a subnational enclave situated within Tamil Nadu. Tamils account for at least one-sixth of the population in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. There are significant Tamil communities in other parts of India. Most of these have emerged fairly recently, dating to the colonial and post-colonial periods, but some date back to the medieval period. Significant populations reside in Karnataka 2.9 million, Maharashtra 1.4 million, Andhra Pradesh 1.2 million, Kerala 0.6 million and the national capital region 0.1 million. Topic: Sri Lanka 
Topic. There are two groups of Tamils in Sri Lanka, the Sri Lankan Tamils and the Indian Tamils. The Sri Lankan Tamils, or Ceylon Tamils are descendants of the Tamils of the old Jaffna Kingdom and East Coast chieftaincies called Vaname. The Indian Tamils, or Hill Country Tamils are descendants of bonded labourers who migrated from Tamil Nadu to Sri Lanka in the 19th century to work on tea plantations. There also exists a significant Muslim population in Sri Lanka who are speakers of the Tamil language. Due to independent lineage, they are listed as Moors by the Sri Lankan government. Most Sri Lankan Tamils live in the northern and eastern provinces and in the capital Colombo, whereas most Indian Tamils live in the central highlands. Historically both groups have seen themselves as separate communities, although there is a greater sense of unity since the 1980s, under the terms of an agreement reached between the Sri Lankan and Indian governments in the 1960s, about 40% of the Indian Tamils were granted Sri Lankan citizenship, and many of the remainder were repatriated to India. By the 1990s, most Indian Tamils had received Sri Lankan citizenship. Topic. Tamil diaspora. Topic. Significant Tamil emigration began in the 18th century, when the British colonial government sent many poor Tamils as indentured labourers to far-off parts of the empire, especially Malaya, South Africa, Fiji, Mauritius, Trinidad and Tobago, Guyana, Suriname, Jamaica, French Guiana, Guadeloupe, and Martinique. At about the same time, many Tamil businessmen also migrated to other parts of the British Empire, particularly to Burma and East Africa. Many Tamils still live in these countries, and the Tamil communities in Singapore, Reunion Island, Malaysia and South Africa have retained much of their original culture and language. Many Malaysian children attend Tamil schools, and a significant portion of Tamil children are brought up with Tamil as their first language. In Singapore, Mauritius and Reunion, Tamil students learn Tamil as their second language in school, with English as the first. In Singapore, to preserve the Tamil language, the government has made it an official language despite Tamils comprising only about 5% of the population, and has also introduced compulsory instruction of the language for Tamils. Other Tamil communities, such as those in South Africa, Fiji, Mauritius, Trinidad and Tobago, Guyana, Suriname, Jamaica, French Guiana, Guadeloupe, Martinique, and the Caribbean no longer speak Tamil language as a first language, but still retain a strong Tamil identity, and are able to understand the language, while most elders speak it as a first language. There is a very small Tamil community in Pakistan, notably settled since the partition in 1947. A large emigration also began in the 1980s, as Sri Lankan Tamils sought to escape the ethnic conflict there. These recent emigrants have most often moved to Australia, Europe, North America, and Southeast Asia. Today, the largest concentration of Sri Lankan Tamils outside Sri Lanka can be found in Toronto. Topic. Culture Topic. Topic. Language and literature Topic. Tamils have strong attachment to the Tamil language, which is often venerated in literature as Tamil, an, an, I. The Tamil mother. It has historically been, and to large extent still is, central to the Tamil identity. Like the other languages of South India, it is a Dravidian language, unrelated to the Indo-European languages of Northern India. The language has been far less influenced by Sanskrit than the other Dravidian languages, and preserves many features of Proto-Dravidian, though modern-day spoken Tamil in Tamil Nadu freely uses loanwords from Sanskrit and English. Tamil literature is of considerable antiquity, and is recognized as a classical language by the government of India. Classical Tamil literature, which ranges from lyric poetry to works on poetics and ethical philosophy, is remarkably different from contemporary and later literature in other Indian languages, and represents the oldest body of secular literature in South Asia. Religion Ancient Tamil grammatical works, Tolkapiyam, the Ten Anthologies, Pathapattu, and the Eight Anthologies, Edithogai shed light on early religion. Murugan was glorified as the red god seated on the blue peacock, who is ever young and resplendent, as the favoured god of the Tamils. Sivan was also seen as the supreme god. Early iconography of Sayan and Sivan and their association with native flora and fauna goes back to the Indus Valley Civilization. 
The Sangam landscape was classified into five categories, thinne, based on the mood, the season and the land. Tolkapiam mentions that each of these Thanai had an associated deity such as Sayin in Kurunji the hills, Thirumal in Malai the forests, Koravai in Marutham the plains, and Wanji Ko in the Neethal the coasts and the seas. Other gods mentioned were Mayan and Vali who are major deities in Hinduism today. Dravidian influence on early Vedic religion is evident, many of these features are already present in the oldest known Indo-Aryan language, the language of the Rigveda c. 1500 BCE, which also includes over a dozen words borrowed from Dravidian. This represents an early religious and cultural fusion or synthesis between ancient Dravidians and Indo-Aryans, which became more evident over time with sacred iconography, flora and fauna that went on to influence Hinduism, Buddhism and Jainism. The cult of the mother goddess is treated as an indication of a society which venerated femininity. Amman, Mariamman, Durgai, Lakshmi, Saraswati, Kali and Saptakaniyar are venerated in all their glorious forms. The temples of the Sangam days, mainly of Madurai, seem to have had priestesses to the deity, who also appear predominantly as goddesses. In the Sangam literature, there is an elaborate description of the rites performed by the Kaurava priestess in the shrine Palamadurchalai. About 88% of the population of Tamil Nadu are Hindus. In Tamil Nadu, Christians and Muslims account for 6% and 5.8% respectively. The majority of Muslims in Tamil Nadu speak Tamil, with less than 15% of them reporting Urdu as their mother tongue. Tamil Jains number only a few thousand now. Atheist, rationalist, and humanist philosophies are also adhered by sizable minorities. The most popular Tamil deity is Murugan, he is known as the patron god of the Tamils and is also called Tamil Kadaval, Tamil god. In Tamil tradition, Murugan is the youngest and Pillai are the oldest son of Savan and Parvati. The goddess Parvati is often depicted as a goddess with green skin complexion in Tamil Hindu tradition. The worship of Amman, also called Mariamman, thought to have been derived from an ancient mother goddess, is also very common. Khan, N. A. G. I., the heroine of the Salapatikar, Am, is worshipped as Patan, I by many Tamils, particularly in Sri Lanka. There are also many followers of Ayavazi in Tamil Nadu, mainly in the southern districts. In addition, there are many temples and devotees of Thirumal, Savan, Pillayar, and the other Hindu deities. Muslims across Tamil Nadu follow Hanafi and Shafi'i schools while the Tamil Muslims in Sri Lanka follow the Shadhili school. While the Marikayar and Kaolar sects claim descent from the Arab world, the Rother and Lebai sects claim descent from the Turkic world. All these sects have improvised Tamil vocabulary with peculiar loan words due to miscegenation. Irwadi in Ramanathapuram district and Nagore in Nagapatanam district are the major pilgrimage centers for Muslims in Tamil Nadu. Karpudayar Mosque in Kaolputnam, Old Juma Mosque in Kilakarai and Kazimur Big Mosque in Madurai are among the oldest mosques of Tamil Muslims in Tamil Nadu. Among the ancient Tamils the practice of erecting memorial stones had appeared, and it continued for quite a long time after the Sangam age, down to about the 16th century. It was customary for people who sought victory in war to worship these hero stones to bless them with victory. They often carry inscriptions displaying a variety of adornments, including bas-relief panels, friezes, and figures on carved stone. The most important Tamil festivals are Pongal, a harvest festival that occurs in mid-January, and Virudapirapu, the Tamil New Year, which occurs on the 14th of April. Both are celebrated by almost all Tamils, regardless of religion. The Hindu festival Deepavali is celebrated with fanfare. Other local Hindu festivals include Thaipusam, Panguni Uttaram, and Adaparuku. While Adaparuku is celebrated with more pomp in the Kaveri region than in others, the Ayavazi festival, Aya Vakanda Avataram, is predominantly celebrated in the southern districts of Kanyakumari district, Tirunelveli, and Thuthakudi. In rural Tamil Nadu, many local deities, called Ayan, Ars, are thought to be the spirits of local heroes who protect the village from harm. Their worship often centers around Nadukal, stones erected in memory of heroes who died in battle. This form of worship is mentioned frequently in classical literature and appears to be the surviving remnants of an ancient Tamil tradition. Munis are a group of guardian gods, who are worshipped by Tamils. The Saivist tradition of Hinduism is significantly represented amongst Tamils, more so among Sri Lankan Tamils, although most of the Saivist places of religious significance are in northern India. The Alvars and Nayanars, who were predominantly Tamils, played a key role in the renaissance of Bhakti tradition in India. 
In the 10th century, the philosopher Ramanuja propagated the theory of Visishtadvaitam. Kambaramayanam is the Tamil version of Hindu epic Ramayana, which was written by the Tamil poet Kambar during 12th century. The Tamil version is smaller than the original Ramayana written by Valmiki. It's not a translation but tells the story in a different perspective. Tamil Jains constitute around 0.13% of the population of Tamil Nadu. Many of the rich Tamil literature works were written by Jains. According to George L. Hart, the legend of the Tamil Sangams or literary assemblies was based on the Jain Sangam at Madurai. Martial traditions Various martial arts including Kutu Varasai, Varma Kalai, Salambam, Adithada, Malyutham and Kalarapayatu, are practiced in Tamil Nadu and Kerala. The warm-up phase includes yoga, meditation and breathing exercises. Salambam originated in ancient Tamilakam and was patronized by the Pandyans, Cholas and Cheras, who ruled over this region. Silapathaharam, Tamil literature from the 2nd century CE, refers to the sale of Salamabam instructions, weapons and equipment to foreign traders. Since the early Sangam age, there was a warlike culture in South India. War was regarded as an honourable sacrifice and fallen heroes and kings were worshipped in the form of a hero stone. Each warrior was trained in martial arts, horse riding and specialised in two of the weapons of that period, vel spear, val sword, and vil bow. Heroic martyrdom was glorified in ancient Tamil literature. The Tamil kings and warriors followed an honor code similar to that of Japanese samurai and committed suicide to preserve honor. The forms of martial suicide were known as avapali, thanai, virtal, marikanchi, vedakarutal and punkilathu mudiyam maram. Avapali was mentioned in all the works except virasolium. It was a self-sacrifice of a warrior to the goddess of war for the victory of his commander. The Tamil rebels in Sri Lanka reflected some elements of Tamil martial traditions which included worship of fallen heroes and practice of martial suicide. They carried a suicide pill around their neck to escape captivity and torture. A remarkable feature, besides their willingness to sacrifice, is that they were well organized and disciplined. It was forbidden for the rebels to consume tobacco, alcohol, drugs and to have sexual relationships. Among the ancient Tamils the practice of erecting memorial stones had appeared, and it continued for quite a long time after the Sangam age, down to about the 16th century. It was customary for people who sought victory in war to worship these hero stones to bless them with victory. They often carry inscriptions displaying a variety of adornments, including bas-relief panels, friezes, and figures on carved stone. The Woot steel originated in South India and Sri Lanka. There are several ancient Tamil, Greek, Chinese and Roman literary references to high-carbon Indian steel since the time of Alexander's India campaign. The crucible steel production process started in the 6th century BCE, at production sites of Kodamanal in Tamil Nadu, Golconda in Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka and Sri Lanka and exported globally, the Tamils of the Shara dynasty producing what was termed the finest steel in the world, i.e. Seric iron to the Romans, Egyptians, Chinese and Arabs by 500 BCE. The steel was exported as cakes of steely iron that came to be known as woots. The Tamilicum method was to heat black magnetite ore in the presence of carbon in a sealed clay crucible inside a charcoal furnace. An alternative was to smelt the ore first to give wrought iron, then heated and hammered to be rid of slag. The carbon source was bamboo and leaves from plants such as avarai. The Chinese and locals in Sri Lanka adopted the production methods of creating Woot steel from the Shara Tamils by the 5th century BCE. In Sri Lanka, this early steel-making method employed a unique wind furnace, driven by the monsoon winds, capable of producing high carbon steel. Production sites from antiquity have emerged, in places such as Anuradhapura, Tissamaharama and Samanalawewa, as well as imported artifacts of ancient iron and steel from Kodamanal. A 200 BCE Tamil trade guild in Tissamaharama, in the southeast of Sri Lanka, brought with them some of the oldest iron and steel artifacts and production processes to the island from the classical period. The Arabs introduced the South Indian, Sri Lankan Woot steel to Damascus, where an industry developed for making weapons of this steel. The 12th century Arab traveller Idrisi mentioned the Hinduani or Indian steel as the best in the world. Another sign of its reputation is seen in a Persian phrase, to give an Indian answer, meaning a cut with an Indian sword. 
Wootz steel was widely exported and traded throughout ancient Europe and the Arab world, and became particularly famous in the Middle East. Traditional weapons The Tamil martial arts also includes various types of weapons. Visual art and architecture most traditional art is religious in some form and usually centers on Hinduism, although the religious element is often only a means to represent universal and, occasionally, humanist themes. The most important form of Tamil painting is Tanjore painting, which originated in Thanjavur in the 9th century. The painting's base is made of cloth and coated with zinc oxide, over which the image is painted using dyes, it is then decorated with semi precious stones, as well as silver or gold thread. A style which is related in origin, but which exhibits significant differences in execution, is used for painting murals on temple walls. The most notable example are the murals on the Kudala Zagar Temple and Meenakshi Temple of Madurai, and the Brihadishwarar Temple of Tanjore. Tamil sculpture ranges from elegant stone sculptures in temples, to bronze icons with exquisite details. The medieval Chola bronzes are considered to be one of India greatest contributions to world art. Unlike most Western art, the material in Tamil sculpture does not influence the form taken by the sculpture, instead, the artist imposes his, her vision of the form on the material. As a result, one often sees in stone sculptures flowing forms that are usually reserved for metal. Topic. Music Topic. Ancient Tamil works, such as the Salapadikaram, describe a system of music, and a 7th-century Pallava inscription at Kudimayamalai contains one of the earliest surviving examples of Indian music in notation. Contemporary dance forms such as Bharatanatyam have recent origins but are based on older temple dance forms known as Kadar Kacheri as practiced by courtesans and a class of women known as Topic: Performing arts Topic. Famous Tamil dance styles are Contemporary dance forms such as Bharatanatyam have recent origins but are based on older temple dance forms known as Kadar Kacheri as practiced by courtesans and a class of women known as Devadasis. One of the Tamil folk dances is Karakatam. In its religious form, the dance is performed in front of an image of the goddess Mariamma. The Kuravansi is a type of dance drama, performed by four to eight women. The drama is opened by a woman playing the part of a female soothsayer of the Kaurava tribe, people of hills and mountains, who tells the story of a lady pining for her lover. The Thirukuthu, literally meaning, street play, is a form of village theatre or folk opera. It is traditionally performed in village squares, with no sets and very simple props. The performances involve songs and dances, and the stories can be either religious or secular. The performances are not formal, and performers often interact with the audience, mocking them, or involving them in the dialogue. Thirukuthu has, in recent times, been very successfully adapted to convey social messages, such as abstinence and anti-caste criticism, as well as information about legal rights, and has spread to other parts of India. Tamil Nadu also has a well-developed stage theatre tradition, which has been influenced by Western theatre. A number of theatrical companies exist, with repertoires including absurdist, realist, and humorous plays. Topic. Film and theater arts Topic. Theatrical culture flourished among Tamils during the classical age. Tamil theater has a long and varied history whose origins can be traced back almost two millennia to dance theater forms like Kotukoti and Pandurangam, which are mentioned in an ancient anthology of poems entitled the Kalingathu Purani. The modern Tamil film industry originated during the 20th century. Tamil film industry has its headquarters in Chennai and is known as Kaliwood. It is the second largest film industry in India after Bollywood. Films from Kaliwood entertain audiences not only in India but also overseas Tamil diaspora. Tamil films from Chennai have been distributed to various overseas theatres in Singapore, Sri Lanka, South Africa, Malaysia, Japan, Oceania, the Middle East, Western Europe, and North America. 
Independent Tamil film production inspired by Kaliwood originated outside India in Sri Lanka, Singapore, Canada, and Western Europe. Several Tamil actresses such as Anusa Ranjan Vijayanthamala, Hema Malini, Rekha Gainasan, Sridevi, Meenakshi Shashadri, and Vidya Balan have acted in Bollywood and dominated the cinema over the years. Some chief ministers of Tamil Nadu like M. G. Ramachandran, Karanadi and Jayalalitha have their background in the Tamil film industry. <laughs> Sports in Tamil Nadu the people of Tamil Nadu play traditional sports and sports from other countries. Tamil Nadu has some notable players in each sport. Jalikatu. Jalikatu is a bull taming sport in Tamil Nadu, over 2,000 years old and an integral part of Tamil culture. In ancient times, two bull taming and bull racing sports were conducted, Manjuvaratu and Yuruthazuval. These sports were organized to keep the people's temperament always fit and ready for war at any time. Each has its own techniques and rules. These sports acted as one of the criteria for marrying girls of a warrior family. There were traditions where the winner would be chosen as bridegroom for their daughter or sister. On the other hand, the untamable bulls were held as a pride of the owner, village and used for breeding the cows. Unlike western bullfighting, bulls and warriors participated in the sport year after year. The ancient Tamil art of unarmed bull taming, popular amongst warriors in the classical period, has also survived in parts of Tamil Nadu, notably Alanganalore near Madurai, where it is known as Jalikatu and is held once a year around the time of the Pongal festival. Kabaddi, a traditional sport that originated in Tamil Nadu. The word, Kabaddi, is probably derived from Tamil word, Thai Pidi, to hold hands. Matu Vandi Elgai Pantheum, Rekla Race, Bullock Cart Racing is mostly celebrated in southern Tamil Nadu. Salambam Staff Fencing, Salambam is a martial art originated in the ancient Tamilakam. In 1978, the Tamil Nadu government and Tamil Nadu Olympic Federation recognized Salambam as a traditional sport, but it was not recognized by the Sports Ministry of India and Indian Olympic Association. Cricket, more people are interested in cricket. Notable players from Tamil Nadu are Srinivasaragavan Venkatagavan, Krishnamachari Srikanth, Laxman Sivaramakrishnan, Lakshmipathi Balaji, Baba Aparajith, Murali Vijay, Ravikandran Ashwin, Murugan Ashwin, Satagopan Ramesh and Dinesh Kartik. In Chennai M. H. Adambaram Stadium is present with a capacity of 50,000. Chess – Chess is a widely popular game in the state. The Tamil Nadu State Chess Association TNSCA is the apex body for the game of chess in Tamil Nadu. Viswanathan Vishy Anand is an Indian chess grandmaster and former world chess champion. Described by chess commentator Lubomir Kavalek as one of the most versatile world champions ever, Anand has won the World Chess Championship five times 2000, 2007, 2008, 2010, 2012, and was the undisputed world champion from 2007 to 2013. Hockey – Fewer people are interested in hockey. Sports Development Authority of Tamil Nadu is planning to set up a hockey academy. Squash – Joshna Chinappa, Dipika Palakal are the notable players. Swimming – Kutralishwaran is a notable swimmer. Tennis – Chennai Open is a professional tennis tournament organized in Chennai every January. Notable players are Ramesh Krishnan, Ramanathan Krishnan, Vijay Amritraj, Mahesh Bhupati and Nirupama Vaidyanathan. Motor racing – The sport was pioneered by Sundaram Karavardhan in its early days. Motor racing between the 1960s and 1980s was conducted at Sholavaram, a track used as a World War II airstrip. Modern motor racing events are held at the Arungatukatai race track owned and operated by Madras Motor Sports Club near Sriparambador and Kerry Motor Speedway near Coimbatore. The people representing India in Formula One air from Tamil Nadu, namely Narain Karthikeyan and Karun Chandhok. In F2 European season held in 2010, Partheva Sureshwaran and Ajit Kumar represented India. Volleyball – Tamil Nadu team won gold in national level men's volleyball competition held in 2011. Archery – Shrither won gold at the Asian Archery Championship held at Indonesia in November 2009. Football – The Tamil Nadu football team represented Tamil Nadu for the Santosh Trophy. 
Paralympic Games, Mariyapan Thangavelu has won the gold medal in the finals of 2016 Summer Paralympic Games held in Rio de Janeiro. Topic. Tamil cuisine Topic. Tamil cuisine includes vegetarian and non-vegetarian food. Some Tamils, especially those belonging to the Brahmin caste are vegetarian because of religious reasons. Rice has great importance in Tamil culture. Tamils were among the first peoples who cultivated rice. The word, rice, probably has its origin in Tamil word, arisi. Rice is mostly eaten with vegetarian and non-vegetarian curries. Traditionally, the Tamils sit on the ground and the food is served on a banana leaf. The traditional foods are eaten with the right hand. Dishes such as dosa, idli, and vada are served with sambar, chutney or in Sri Lanka with coconut sambal. Rasam replaces soup in Tamil cuisine. The Tamil cuisine in Sri Lanka differs little from that of South India. A famous Sri Lankan Tamil specialty is kotu roti, available in most Sri Lankan restaurants in the country and abroad. See also Topic. List of countries where Tamil is an official language List of languages by first written accounts Tamil keyboard Tamil population by cities Tamil population by nation Tamil loanwords in other languages Topic. Notes Topic. Topic. Sources. Topic. Topic. References. Topic. Topic. External links. Topic. Tamil's Encyclopedia Britannica entry.